Hi, I'm Ashley Meschke, and I'm a product specialist here at Atlas Copco. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to program an STR wrench using the integrated controller function, which substitutes the PowerFocus 6000 connection and allows the wrench to be used in standalone mode. To start, we're going to connect our STR wrench to our laptop using a USB-C cable. Now, we can connect to the STR wrench through the standard IP address 169.254.1.1 and access its web GUI. In order to use the integrated controller function, the firmware of the STR wrench needs to be at least version 3.8.1. We can check if this criteria is met by selecting the integrated controller tool menu and check in the software tab the firmware version installed in the STR wrench. We can see my wrench has version 3.8.1 installed, so we're good to go. Once we determine we have the correct firmware version, we can begin the tightening program setup. In the main menu of the web GUI, select the tightening tab. Then, click on the plus sign in order to create a new program. Select the nature of the operation. Today, let's stick with tightening. Clicking on steps will show a drop-down of programs, but it's important to choose only programs that are supported by the STR wrench. These programs can be identified by the absence of a red indication to the left of the program name. Today, let's do manual tighten and torque, and you can select the step you want by clicking and dragging over to the right. Once you have your program selected, we can now set up the parameters required for the strategy selected by clicking on the blue pentagon. All the parameters have to be between the 5% and 100% of the smart head capacity. In our case, we have an 80 newton meter smart head. Now we can choose our target torque. Let's do 13 newton meters. We have to set the torque's low and high limits. Let's do 11 newton meters as a low and 15 newton meters as a high. We also have to set the angle's high and low limit. And since I'm focused on torque for this tightening, I'm going to set these to accept all angles for the sake of the demo. Of course, a real life application will have these parameters as an input to the programming and the selection of the smart head. Last on this page is to set the trigger torque, which will initiate the program. Let's do 10 newton meters. Once we have our parameters filled out, we can continue with the setup by clicking on the Properties tab in the top left. General Settings will give you the options to define thread direction, enable trace configurations, and validate against tool values. Program Restrictions allows you to set the max torque of the program, and this value should be checked to ensure programming goes smoothly. Once we have our setup of the strategy completed, click Apply, and the new program will appear on the list of available programs in the Tightening Library. You can continue to fine-tune the STR wrench by clicking the Configurations from the home page. In this section, you can choose which features to enable, such as the front LED light, tag selection, tag, buzzer, vibrations, and loosening pre-tightening check. Once we're done with the setup and the configuration of the program, it's time to link the program to a virtual station. Note that in order to work with the integrated controller function, it's necessary to have the STR Wrench Integrated Controller Virtual Station license. Select the Integrated Controller Tool tab, then the Virtual Station tab. Under Licenses, click Virtual Station Type and select the Integrated Controller Virtual Station. Once the virtual station is associated to the wrench, the task has to be selected. Under Tasks, click Choose Task and select the tightening program configured in the previous steps. Finally, click on Apply in order to install the strategy desired on the wrench. The wrench is now ready to work. And that's how you program an STR wrench using the integrated controller function. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Product Marketing. Thanks for watching.